Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to the shed. I'm Lonnie. Hey, good morning. I'm Candace. Candace is a little low key this morning. <laughs> <laughs> you in here with your action figs? Yeah, this was thrown in that box with all the Legos and Hot Wheels track. Mm -hmm. It's a 1988 Mutant Ninja Turtles character. Ah, okay. 25 bucks. Cool. Yeah. Lots of little uh, gems in there, huh? Yeah, just little parts and yeah, some good stuff. Well, we're gonna get we're gonna get in trouble for using this. That that came with our stuff from Guy. Well, he's gonna get in trouble. We're still gonna get in trouble. We have it. No, we give it back to Mary Jo. It has a warning on it. Look, there's a maximum penalty for theft How or misuse <laughs> of postal property: one thousand dollar fine and three years in jail. That's all. A thousand? Only using, three for years? Using that? Come on now. And three years. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I, I, we might be able to commit some types of murder and get a... I know, a, get a lesser sentence. <laughs> <laughs> this is so crazy. I wonder if there's anybody sitting in the pen right now. What are you in for? <laughs> I uh, use a USPS cart in the store. <laughs> <laughs> if I was in the pen for that, I would make something else up that was just like horrible. The pen. Yeah, the state pen. Federal pen, I guess, yeah, for that. It'd be a federal pen. Be a federal crime. <laughs> anyway, what we're doing today. Um, someone asked where we got our photo booth. Do we have a link in the description? I don't know. I don't think so. Maybe. We got it on Amazon. Yeah. What is it? It's a Travor. Okay, they're asking where we got it. It's Travor, and they have uh, they have a bunch of different sizes. All probably all the way down to 12, 12, 12, huh? Mm -hmm. Ours is twenty four cube, and I know they make like thirty six cube, etc. So, yeah. Well, I'll try and get that link down there. But today we are going to pull orders and then pack them. Uh, this is going to be packing day, and I have ten orders going out this morning. So first one, we're going to start pulling right now. We're going after P16. So I got two two posters on this order, P15 and P16. So we have Lady and the Tramp and Dick Tracy. P15 and 16. There's 16 and 15. So a good portion of these posters have sold now. This, I could see through here, it says I'm on my way. So I know that's Dick Tracy for sure. And this is Lady and the Tramp. So those sold for, Lady and the Tramp sold for $29.99 and Dick Tracy sold for $13.99. All right, Nine Echo, we sold really old um a really old bad buy that's what this what i would call this or not a bad buy because i mean this i got this stuff really cheap uh, it's, it's sold fast yeah actually i've sold a, a a bunch of this it just didn't sell for much money i didn't only paid like 25 cents a whack for these things and i had a bunch more than this that sold for $16.99 plus shipping on top. And this is, I'm going to probably have to repack this in a different kind of box because that's going to go UPS, I believe. Pocket 30, we sold Schnarf. <laughs> yeah, I watched a little YouTube, few YouTube clips of them. There was the Schnarf guy and then there was the Schnarf Schnarf guy. Snarf and Snarfer? Snarf and I don't know. I don't. They had two of them. Two of these little dudes. What, what show was that on? Candace? Thundercats. Thundercats. Snarf. <laughs> Let me hear your snarf, Candace. Snarf. Good old Snarf. Snarf Snarf. Snarf. Poor old Snarf. Who Snarf? You Snarf. 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 I knew it was going to be some kind of comic relief. I never watched that show when I was a kid. 
but I figured that character was going to be like a comic relief type character. Uh, five Charlie, we have a Doctor Who puzzle right here. New, brand new, sealed. It is. Oh, it's got it's got all, all the doctors on there, or a lot of the doctors anyway. I don't know if it's up to date. That puzzle sold for $19.99 plus shipping on top. Sold a Pocket 36, sold a sandblaster car right here. Vintage little car. This sold for $24.99 plus shipping. 1B S102 Chris D Maria. 1B S102. Here we go. I think I found it. That is Chris D Maria BCC G 10 men or better. That sold for $9.99 plus shipping on top. Then two Foxtrot. And here's your birds chirping up there. Spring might be here, right? Two Foxtrot sold this um, JP28. This is a big T-Rex that's supposed to make sounds. And the, the sound part doesn't work. You access it through his belly here. So I had to kind of sell it as is. $24.99 plus shipping on top for him. That's going to be a little different pack. And Tiger Drawer, we sold Marvel Legends Black Widow Crossbones. Tiger Drawer. Well, he, has, he has some bones on him. And yeah, that's him. He sold for $14.99 plus ship. And we should have room for, we don't have a lot going out today. And then the last thing is Nine Bravo, Jacoby Myers. Nine Bravo X74. Is Jacoby Myers right here. Rookie ticket. And that is uh, a signature for the... New England Patriots receiver. $19.99 plus shipping on top for that. So this is everything that's going out this morning. Let's get it packed. All right, let's get started. First, we're gonna do these posters. And gonna use, this is an eBay, uh, I bought this with a coupon. 12 and a half, 12 and a half adjustable box. It has the, the different fold points here so it can be a lot of different sizes. And also using, for this pack, I'm using an 864 box just as a, a stiffener. And also going to use a poly mailer. So, got a question uh, from Baptist Joshua that I actually answered before. But I'll go ahead and answer it again because he asked it again. And I think he might have missed the video a few weeks back where I talked about this and y'all can see the question there basically basically he's asking why you shouldn't prepack your items when you list them and um, for our case prepacking items would make the stuff take up just a ridiculous amount of space in the shed it would probably take, I've said before, like probably like five times as much room as it does now. And so it just wouldn't make sense for us. However, if you have the space and like I, I was thinking about it, if you have the space to actually store everything, look how that, that is night, man. That is nice and stiff there. Then yeah, there's no problem with that, especially like if you if you're a part-time seller and you don't have a ton of items and you have room to store everything, then yeah, why not? Why not? Why not prepack everything that way? Uh, you're not ever all you'll ever have to do is just print the labels when things sell. 
unless of course somebody orders you know multiple items and then that that's not a big deal that doesn't that's probably not going to happen that often and then when it does you can just unpack unpack the things and then repackage them together so it could definitely work in some cases it would be kind of a dream to have everything pre-packed and then you just pull it and it's ready to roll but like i said for uh logistical reasons for us it wouldn't work because we just would not we don't really even have the space for the stuff we got i can't imagine uh, how much space it would take if we pre-packed everything all right we're gonna pack this reddick high stuff now and it is going ups so i'm using like a using just like a normal brown box and this stuff it's not like super fragile or anything but I am going to put like some paper in here to kind of pack it with. And I'm using this other resizer because it's a larger box. And it has this nice guide on it that helps you make sure you cut in a straight line. Normally, I like just using my little handheld resizer. But in this case, this works a little better. This box is way too big. So I'm going to cut these flaps. I know I don't need them. And I'll save the flaps to use as packing material in future packs. I always save those nice big flaps. I use it for sometimes backing. things like that and then I'm just going to take all this stuff out and like I said it's not the packaging is in really pretty poor condition and this is a strong box so I'm not really that concerned about like bubble wrapping each thing or anything like that but I do want to make sure I put some uh take that out I do want to make sure I put some paper in there just just to fill the voids Provide a little bit of cushion. And we'll just kind of put the stuff back in here. Okay, that's fine. That's good. And then that's good. Everything's under. That mark, and I'm gonna use one more piece of paper. Right here. And back to Baptist Joshua's question. He did make some good points. Like if you're if everything's pre-packed, it's way faster. And you're not gonna run out of shipping materials because everything's packed. So I can definitely see the advantages of something like that. There we go. Hello, Redekai. Not too bad. This, this stuff was uh, right on the cusp of being donated. really we could have but I'm glad we sold it because this way we make a little money and the buyer got what I think is a great deal and y'all could tell look whenever you use that resizer with the guides on it look how look how clean your lines are everything's like pretty much perfect you don't end up with a wonky looking box like that. Usually I just don't want to take the time or the box is so small. 
that I could just freehand it. I've gotten pretty good at freehanding. There we go. That one's done. All right, now we gotta pack this little schnarf. <laughs> schnarf. I'll play a little clip of schnarf right here and see how I'm nailing it or not. I did, when I was a kid, I watched a little G.I. Joe. I watched a lot of other cartoons, but I never got into, like, Transformers or... What's this guy's name, Candace? Or what show is he from? Uh, Thundercats. Thundercats. I never watched Thundercats, Voltron, any of that kind of stuff. I just didn't do it. Just wasn't my thing. He-Man... Schnarf is done. Okay, next up we have Doctor Who Jigsaw Puzzle. I'm going to use a number seven box right here. And we are going to be resizing it. Probably not going to use that same resizer. Probably just going to go handheld this time. Who? The UPS. Yeah, they're in the van. Back of the van. I'm coming. All right. Sorry about that. UPS actually showed up delivering something, and I had two packages going out for them. So that Redekai lot already went out. And basically, it's the same thing as that other box. Blades a little, little on the dull side. I need to swap it out. Like that, that. Yeah, I could have used one of the longer boxes. I think. I didn't even think of that. But this will work just fine. And I'll just put a little bubble wrap in there. Oh no, <laughs> I cut it, I kind of overdid it a little bit, eh? There we go. Over trim. Oh well, I won't, I won't edit that out. It's good. Okay, next up is this little car. Got a nice mix of easy packs and more challenging packs today, which is good. I want to show some more challenging packs. Although I do like these packs the best just because of how easy and fast they are. Harder packs are more instructive for you guys. Done. And we are shipping two types of cards. And yes, I am using priority material. This is a cutoff from a box. My thinking though, some people might think this is wrong. But my thinking on using that is that it'd be very, it'd be a shame to me to waste this little bit of cardboard rather than use it. So I'm gonna use it. I did use the main portion of the box for shipping priority. Some of y'all might think that's wrong or this is wrong, and I respect that. That one's done. 
All right, here's the main event. This guy, this is the pack today. I'm gonna try, I'm not exactly sure how I'm doing this yet. I'm gonna try something, might fail. I'm gonna go halfway eyeballing. So it might look a little wonk at the end. I'll go halfway here, approximate. I'm gonna flip right here, I'm gonna go halfway here. Approximate, okay. So now the idea is when we bend, fold on there and there, then we'll get a longer box. It's not too, too wonk. It's a little wonk. And one thing I am counting on a little bit is I'm going to fold that tail in just a tad. Not much. I don't want to do it too much. I don't want to damage anything. This blade is horrible. Place to hold and then I'll take a look and see if this is going to work or not. All right, will this work or is it too small? Let's see. Let's see. This, that'll work. That's not gonna hurt him. Head is just slightly bent. All right, I'm gonna go for that. Judgment call on my part. The, the risk is, is the customer gonna, gonna not like that? Or what I like, I don't know. What do y'all think? I'm gonna pack it like this. Okay, well, I did go ahead and bag him up. He is, he is like a vinyl soft rubber, so I think we'll be all right. I think we'll be okay. And I'm gonna put a little bit of paper. In here, and a card and a sticker. And then we just got to seal the box up. Put a couple of holder pieces here, and then I'll start taping like a maniac. All right, time to tape like a maniac. I get a lot of grief about how much. Actually, I get some grief about how horrible my packing is. Which is fine. That's one of the reasons, like, if you want to get critique on YouTube, pack a box. <laughs> that brings them all out, which is good. Because then people can go through the comments and see, okay, Lonnie said that was packed good enough. What do other people think? so you can get more than one idea about the packing. So I don't claim to be an expert, but I do claim to be the guy that is packing a box on YouTube right now. <laughs> so I'm actually, I actually don't hate this package. I think it's pretty good. I don't hate it. Here we go, that's done. All right, that was a challenging pack. This is not. Action figure guy. It's packed. Eight, six, four box. And now we just have one more thing. Oh, this box was already taped on the bottom, by the way. 
I'm going to wrap it around. Kind of change every now and then I change what I do. I just go vertical and horizontal and tape, tape, touch and tape. Well, it's not quite touching there, but over here because tape sticks to tape, right? And last thing is another playing card. Now, the last playing card was in a, uh, it was slabbed. So couldn't use eBay standard envelope for that one. But this one we can. So I usually just wrap it in a piece of paper to provide a little bit of extra stiffener. I do use these semi-rigid mailers that are the right size and perspective. And that's it. That's everything I packed. Tell me below, what did I do wrong? All right, that's going to be it for this one. Thanks so much for watching, guys. We'll see y'all again very soon. Bye, y'all. Bye.